This lesson is for what's called honeycomb smocking. This is a smocking that's called dot pickup smocking. That will become clear as we go along. But this is what we're going to be making today. This particular smocking, called honeycomb smocking, is called dot pickup smocking. That is because you mark dots on the fabric, as you can see I've done here. Now the spacing really is up to you, but for this example, you can see here, the dots are one inch apart horizontally and they're three quarters of an inch apart vertically. So that is how I have this particular sample set up. Once you have your fabric marked, then we can start talking about the stitching. This is what the stitching pattern looks like if I were to draw it out onto the fabric. I'm going to draw the stitching patterns next in blue so you can see the path that the thread takes. Here is the fabric with the stitch pattern drawn out. We join these two here. We run the needle down through underneath the fabric. We pick up these two under the fabric up. And as you can see, it works up to here. Then we jump down to and then everything works back this way. We jump down again, and we continue in this stitching pattern like so. So the red ones are the two dots coming together. The blue tells you the direction of travel. Now, we're going to demonstrate that. These marks are marked on the face of the fabric, so I'm going to come up from underneath, and this is what I mean by dot pickup. You're going to pick up this dot and this dot. them together. Now you can see we're going to put the needle in here and bring it down so that it emerges right there. You notice I'm using a contrasting thread. You would want to use a decorative thread on this. I think it's prettier because this thread is going to show so again, you can see, dot pickup, you're picking up two dots, and you sew. Then you can see the arrow, you go underneath the fabric, and you continue across. I'll sew another, another couple, just so you can see it. And then again, up be underneath the fabric, you come up. And dot pick up. Pick up this dot. Pick up this dot. And you sew them together. So I'm going to go off camera and sew down to the end of the first row. Now I've gotten to the end of the first row so you can see here, these two dots are going to match. Then we're going to bring the thread down to here, 
and then continue down to here to jump down to the next row. As you can see, I've marked it already. So what that's going to look like is this. all the way down to here. Now we're ready to head back in the opposite direction and that will look like this. I'm going to sew a few and then I will go off camera to finish the rest of the row. So again, You don't wax your thread or iron it, you're going to run into this. Here I have one and this then will go down to there. these up like so and then we travel back up my apologies for some of these knots this is not the optimum situation but there you have it I'm trying to see through my camera. Not easy, but there we have it. So now, let's pull this up starting to make the diamond pattern. So what I will do is I will work all the way across to the end and then I'll show you how to turn around for row three. So here I am now, almost at the other end. So I'm going to take the last two points to sew together. And then down one, down again. So then, at this point, we're now on the third pair of rows. I'll sew two or three more, then I will go off camera. It's 1.30, there you have it. see I'm just following the arrows now this eats up a lot of thread so I have reloaded my needle twice during this particular demonstration the beauty of this is you can knot it all off on the back generally the back is going to be um, lined or otherwise concealed so you don't really have to worry about making this all on one thread so I think that would be kind of impossible to do so one more and then I'll show you the work Okay, so here we are, starting to shape up. So I will go off camera now and finish the rest of this work and I will come back here. And here we have the honeycomb smocking. The diagram, the execution. Voila. <laughs>